This short and simple video will walk you through how to find specific indirect effects on Smart PLS 3. First, start with a model that has specific indirect effects, such as this one, where Unsupportive Boss has an effect on satisfaction with work through two mediators, burnout from customers and ethical concerns. With such a model, you can go to Calculate, select Bootstrapping. If you know what settings you'd like to change, feel free. If not, go ahead and keep the default settings, then click Start Calculation. Once this is done, your output should pop up. If not, go up here to the tabs and select Bootstrapping. If you glance below at the final results, there's a section called Specific Indirect Effects. Click on that. This section lists all the specific indirect effects. If you expand this, you can see which specific indirect effect it is referring to. So the one going through ethical concerns is here with the original sample estimate and the sample mean estimate. This is the regression weight for the indirect effect averaged across all 500 samples. Scroll over to see the p-value for this specific indirect effect. This p-value is less than 0.05 and so it is highlighted in green. And that's how you find the specific indirect effect in Smart PLS 3.